Equation 3. The effective potential energy E of a lunar satellite of mass M1 moving in an elliptical orbit around the moon of mass M2 is given by E is equals to K square all over M1 R square minus G M1 M2 all over R where R is the distance of the satellite from the moon and G is the universal gravitational constant of dimensions M raised to negative 1, L raised to power 3, T raised to negative 2, determine the dimensions of the angular momentum K of the satellite using dimensional analysis. Solution now we are given we are given that uh, e is equals to k square all over m1 arrow square minus g m1 m2 all over r now what i'm going to do is to make this to be as linear as we can so i'm going to multiply through through this whole equation by uh through this whole expression by the lcm of all this so the lcm we have here is m1 r squared so because this can go into this completely so i will just put a statement here since it's a theorism multiplying multiplying through by m1 r square so m1 r square so if i multiply through so if i multiply e by m1 r square i will have e times m1 r square that will be equals to so if i multiply this as well by m1 that will be equals to we have only k square. We have k square because if I multiply this whole thing by m1 arrow square, to have k square. Now minus, do the same thing here. If I multiply this whole thing by the same m1 times uh, arrow square, this r we cancel one of the r here. So if r cancel one of the r, I will be left with only r here and m1. So we use that m1 r to multiply through this. So we'll be having g. Remember, we have m1 times m1. That will be m1 square. Then we have our m2. Then we have our r because these are taking care of one of these. So we have this. So what I'm going to do now, I will just move the whole of this uh, expression in r in g, move it to this side, so that I will have my e. Let me write that. I have e. Okay, I think it's better now to be equals to. Okay, e m. I have E M1 R square plus Y is plus because I'm bringing this. So I have plus G M1 square. I have M2. Then I have R. And this is equals to K square. So this is equals to K square. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is that uh, my K will be equals to actually square root square root of all this so square root of the whole of this that is e m1 r square plus g m1 square m2 times r so that is what i'm going to have there now uh uh, we have to recall something remember that we were told from the equation that uh, this our E is uh, the energy the potential energy E so we know that but our energy our energy E remember energy is the same as work done because they both have the same uh, 
uh, unit joules so energy is the ability to do work so we can use the formula of work for energy so the formula of work done is equals to force times distance force times distance that is formula of uh, of work done which can apply to energy now our e will now be equals to our force is mass times acceleration let me just abbreviate that acceleration times our distance i want to get the dimension of this i'm trying to get the dimension of this distance okay we have that now let's get the unit the unit of mass is kilogram the unit of acceleration is meter per second square the unit of distance is meter so we have the unit of distance is meter now let's by indices we have kilogram meter times meter we have meter square then we have per second square per second square so we have that now to dimension changing that to dimension we will be having our kilogram in dimension analysis kilogram in the mass is capital m so kilogram is capital m why meter length anything meter is capital letter l remember we have square that's why i'm going to introduce that square now uh, s is seconds so our s which is second is capital t so we have capital t in dimension analysis and this is raised to negative two so we have that as the dimension of e so what we are going to do is to substitute this into this uh, formula or into this expression don't forget we were also given the value of g gravitational constant g we're also given that uh, g g was equals to this so we are going to substitute all that into this expression okay i have to write this we have this formula we derive first and we also derive this the dimension of this e and remember we're giving this from the equation dimension of g from the equation so we just get to substitute this into this uh, expression so that we have our k to be equals to square root let's maintain the square root there our e is capital let me open up for that capital m l square c raised to negative 2 so that is times our m1 m1 is uh, is meter okay mass we have a mass there which is in kilogram because we're told that that is a uh, mass mass of the mass of this satellite m1 and mass of the moon m2 so there are masses so that will be this m1 now is going to be kilogram and the dimension of kilogram is capital m okay so for that of r we're told that r where r is the distance of the satellite from the moon so r is distance which is in meter and the dimension of meter is l remember it's having square so i'm going to square that so i'm done with that now plus do the same thing for this our g was given as well so i'm just going to rewrite that our g this was given so i'm going to rewrite that we have uh, let me open up for that m raised to negative one l raised to power three t raised to negative two or times i have m1 square m1 is mass there so mass is capital m like we did in this case remember it's square m1 square so i'm going to square that then times uh, m2 is also a mass okay so i'm going that is not square it's just that then we have a radius here which is distance r which is distance as given in the equation distance and it's a meter which is capital l so we close that up so that is what we have there now our k is equals to so by the time we open up this we have square root of let's unite them using uh, indices this is m this is m 
this is raised to the power one this is raised to the power one by the time you multiply them you can add up their power so that will be having m square m square now this um, this is l s square this is l square and we are multiplying them so that will be l raised to the power four okay so we have our t raised to negative two that is what is left the same thing to this side plus if we do the same thing here m raised to negative one m raised to power 2 and m raised to power 1. So m raised to power uh, minus 1, if you add up their powers according to the law of indices, minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 will give us m raised to power 2. So we have m raised to power 2 at that end, power 2, let me extend this. Now let's go to L. We have L raised to power 3 here. Yeah? We have L raised to power 1. So according to indices, we will add up these powers. So power 1 plus 3, we have a raised to the power four, power four. Now we have our t, t raised to negative two, negative two. So by the time we do this, when we solve this out, we have uh, this is square. You can see that this and this are the same. They are equal. It's just like saying x plus x. So that would be two x. So we'll be having square root of two m2 a raised to the power 4 and uh, t raised to negative 2 so that's what we'll be having there now if we take the square root of this now remember what we are actually dealing with we are dealing with uh, this equals to we are just looking at the dimension not this so this our 2 is constant so for the dimension of a constant remain a constant so which you can say is also one so we just take the square root of the dimension we are interested in can i say that therefore our k is whatever we have here so for m m square if you take the square root become m now become m capital m okay now uh, l raised to the power four take square root you have l raised to the power two then we have t t square root of uh, t raised to negative 2 that will give us t raised to negative 1 so that is what we have so that is the dimension of k uh, as required by the equation the dimension of k as required by the equation which is the angular momentum momentum that is m capital letter m l raised to power 2 and we have l raised to power 2 and we have t raised to negative 1 so that is what we were asked to get according to this question.